Colin Kaepernick, I say it all the time. I'll add something else to it. If he had hit a woman hmm. or tortured a dog, he'd be back in the NFL. Wow. Wow. He'd be back in the NFL because those wow. are corrective behaviors hmm. to people. Wow. Like you can sell to the public that <laughs> if somebody hits a woman, oh, they don't do that anymore. Hmm. They, go, they went to counseling. They're okay. You know, Michael Vick, he served his time. Yeah. And this is obviously no disrespect to him. He deserved to play. But you can prove that's a corrective behavior that's not gonna happen anymore. You can't sell to the public. You know what? Colin Kaepernick no longer believes that it's an injustice that unarmed black people get shot. <laughs> you can't sell that. <laughs> you cannot. That's not gonna go over. You know what? He, he no longer believes that this country has systematically and racially oppressed black and brown people. He's off that now. It's like, no. <laughs> so they couldn't control the way that he thought, and they were concerned about the influence he would have on other players, and they were pissed that he put the NFL in an uncomfortable position of being um, politically bantered about and looked at as a, a political vehicle to gain political points. They were upset about this, and this is, and then again, the Donald Trump factor, so that's why he's not getting back in. Uh, so I don't think he's being entitled. I think he saw something taken away from him. This is somebody who is one underthrow away from going to back-to-back -back Super Bowls. Mm. Wow. You know that you can be the very best at something and somebody just takes it away from you because you, I don't know, had the crazy opinion that black people shouldn't be getting shot unarmed. You'd be upset and entitled to.